Hey guys, welcome back. So we are back again in my shower. I wanted to update you guys on some products that I have been loving, like for my hygiene, for my hair. You guys know I've done several of these videos in the past when I've been getting this requested a lot. You guys really seem to enjoy these types of videos, so I'm sorry if you don't, but for those of you who do, I hope you like it. So, starting off with my hair, I am just using this sulfate-free shampoo by the brand Ion. You can get this brand at Sally's Beauty Supply. I've been loving this shampoo for like the past two and a half months. I've been using this bottle and I still have a ton left I just love it for my hair if you dye your hair I think it's really good it makes the dye last longer it lathers really nice even though it has no sulfates in it you can just see I mean I did use a lot because I do have a lot of hair but I just love the way it makes my hair feel look smell I'm obsessed with it so definitely recommend this if you dye your hair or if you're looking for just a really good shampoo to keep your hair really like healthy and shiny looking and that little blinking light that you guys see there at the top that is my boyfriend's GoPro I tried to use it and get some cool shots and it just was a complete fail I got no good shots it was just a hot mess so I really tried but it just didn't work out for me so anyways let's just disregard that so once I rinse out my shampoo, of course, then I go in with my after color sealer. It's basically just like my conditioner. This really will just help to condition your hair and just prolong your hair dye that you have. I do get my hair done now, so I'm not 100% sure what she used on my hair, but I know that it is a blue black dye. That's what I always dye my hair with, something blue black, because I like it to be as black as possible. So I just take about that much, which is about two pumps, and I just mix it around, and I just pretty much apply it all over my hair. And I really love this conditioner because it doesn't weigh my hair down so even though I apply it all throughout my head like even like on my roots and stuff it doesn't make my hair really greasy and oily because I do struggle with that but with these products I have no issues so then moving into shaving now that it is summer I do have to shave more often <laughs> versus in the winter where I don't shave that often but I've been really loving this Gillette Venus vanilla cream shower cream it's basically almost like a conditioner for your legs or for your arms whatever you like to shave and I love this because it's actually better than conditioner in my opinion because I don't get razor bumps with this whenever I don't use a like shaving gel I will use conditioner but I've noticed that if I use it too much or too often I will get little tiny bumps and irritation on my skin so I love this because it leaves my skin feeling super soft and it smells really good and it doesn't irritate my skin So if you have sensitive skin whenever you shave try this out and let me know if it works so I also don't shave my arms as often as I would my legs but it really just depends I am very lucky enough though that my arm hair doesn't grow back as long as my leg hair and as for my underarms I do shave them every single day like all year round and then whenever I do shave my bikini area I love this bikini zone anti bumps shave gel I used to use this back in the day I don't know why I never talked about this on my channel because it's actually a really great product I'm kind of like re-loving it rediscovering it and I love it because it keeps the area nice and soft and smooth and it doesn't irritate anything so then for body wash this is the at the beach scent from Bath and Body Works Kathleen Lights was raving about this and I went out and I fell in love with it the minute that I smelled it when I went into the store I bought shower gels lotions and body sprays because it smells that good I think this is the perfect scent for summer because it's like this really coconutty tropical floral scent it's not too overpowering but it does last a really long time on your skin and I've just been literally obsessed with it and I just started using it so I wanted to share it with you guys because again it's a great summer scent and I just love the way it smells like and some other products that I love while I'm in the shower Vagisil pH balance is really good and whenever I'm not using that I'll just use a traditional bar of soap this is just by Dove and it's the unscented kind and then I always use the antibacterial orange dial soap to clean my piercings while I'm in the shower to prevent any bacteria or anything like that so one of the first things I do whenever I do shave when I get out of the shower is go in with the bikini zone aftershave cream if you do shave down there I definitely recommend going in with this afterwards because it just makes everything kind of better I don't know it just keeps the area at bay prevents razor bumps irritation redness it's just a really 
great product. So then immediately after I get out of the shower, I always go in with deodorant. This Dove dry spray is my favorite. I always switch up the scents. This is just the one that I have currently. I just spray it and then just rub it in with my hands and I love spray deodorant. I've raved about it for years on my channel. It really is so good and it keeps you so fresh better than stick deodorant in my opinion. And then like I said, I'm using the same at the beach body lotion scent. I find that whenever I layer my scents, they just last so much longer on my skin. And I don't know what it is, but with things from Bath and Body Works, they just last so much longer on my skin versus Victoria's Secret. I love Victoria's Secret. Wild and Breezy is like my all-time favorite. It just doesn't last very long on my skin, but these products, I feel like they really do. And just Bath and Body Works lotions and sprays in general. So I am just drowning my body in this lotion. And I'm telling you guys, just go out and smell it and just splurge and treat yourself because they were buy three get three free so just do that and then just thank me and Kathleen lights later <laughs> and then I'm just also using the spray over top and whenever I use body sprays I pretty much spray them all over my body but I always like to focus these or perfumes specifically on my wrists on my chest the back of my knees and also the back of my neck and I feel like that's where they last the longest on my skin personally so then for my hair I get a lot of questions about what I use when I get out of the shower I always let my hair air dry I never blow dry my hair and I just go in with this leave-in conditioning cream also by the brand ion I just really love this brand for my hair I don't know why it just works really well so I'm using about two pumps of this and I'm just pretty much focusing this on the bottom half of my hair I never focus product on the top just because I do get a really really bad oily scalp so just on the bottom just to keep it really conditioned and hydrated and then I will go in with this oil I will leave a link if I can find this oil down below in the description box this was actually sent to me a couple months back I've been using it ever since like the fall and I just use a little tiny bit just right on the ends of my hair and I feel like this really helps with like my dry ends and I don't really get split ends anymore like I used to so I've just I just love these products, okay? How many times do I have to say it? <laughs> then I'll just leave my hair towel dry for a little bit because at this point it is soaking wet. And then I'll just braid it for the night and just let it air dry. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the new products that I've been loving. Let me know of your favorite hygiene products down below in the comments. Thank you for watching. I love you all and I'll see you soon.